Let's see how you can easily create a plugin within Pixie Studio 2021.1 using the new plugin editor. In this example, we're going to create a plugin that imports a KTF file, runs a data preparation on it, and exports it to another file format, say GLB. First step, we're going to create our data preparation recipe as a simple Python script. To help us, let's use one of the sample scripts delivered out of the box with Pixie Studio. This generic process here simply runs a few data preparation algorithms, one step at a time, in order to obtain a ready-to-use 3D model. We have the selection step and then repair mesh step, etc. This recipe can be anything as long as it fits your data preparation needs. Now, I'm going to add the file import step to this script that will import my KTF file in the scene. To do that, I go to the function list here and I look for import scene. I browse to the KTF file I wish to import. I copy to clipboard the code and I paste it here in my script. Instead of using this specific file path here for my input file, I'll make it more generic by writing here input file. And here, at the beginning of my script, I declare this path as my input file. Could then I'll do the same thing for the export step, function list again, export team, and I want to export a GLB file. Same thing again, I make it more generic by replacing that by output file. Okay, I'm ready to execute my script, so I'll click the execute button. And it's working. Here we have a CAPTCHA displayed because in Studio, patching files is not allowed. It means that import-export functions like import scene or export scene cannot be run in a script without going through this CAPTCHA security. So as you can see, my script works. Now, how do I turn this script into a plugin that I will be able to run in Pixie Scenario Processor in order to process and convert not only one model like here, but many files in batch mode. So let's open the new plugin editor. You can open it from the plugins menu here and dock it wherever you'd like. First, I create a new empty plugin with a plus button here. The plugin editor comes with the plugin tree on the left here that lists all the files, functions, and dependencies that go with the plugin. I select my script to start editing it. I'm simply going to copy the script I created before in order to transform it into a plugin. I paste it in my function here. There we go. Now I need to create some parameters for my main function, my plugin. Parameters are needed to set the input file here and the output file here. To do so, I right click the main function here from the plugin tree and I click add parameter. I name the first one input file and set it as a file path type. The plugin is automatically reloaded the parameter was added as a new argument to my function here and it was also added to the XML file here. Now I will do the same for the output file that I need to define the export file. You can see that each time a parameter is added and the plugin is reloaded, a dependency to the module containing the parameter is added automatically. You could have Directly edit your XML file, of course, but this shows how it is, it is for beginners to create a usable plugin. And it's done. 
my plugin is ready. I play it and it brings up a user interface showing the parameters we define in the XML file for the main function. I need to set the input file, I choose this Katia file, and then the output file that I want to export as a GLP file. I execute the plugin and the process of my model begins. You'll see that before the final export, the CAPTCHA security is displayed again. I solve the CAPTCHA and the export step is finally executed. So here is my process model. So you've seen how easy it is to create a plugin that processes a CAT file and converts it as a GLB file. Now, if I wanted to batch a full set of files, I would need to adapt my script for batching a folder, for example and then publish its plugin to finally execute it in Pixie Scenario Processor, the Pixie's automation tool.